We, we things <laughs> things have begun. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still tickled by all this. <laughs> We're all here, and that's that's what's important. Karn is looking super. <laughs> Karn, mm. Karn's looking very very Karn like. Yeah. We're here, and it's Modern Masters time. <laughs> Whatever, it works. So you know what else works? Oh, you sort of jump into an 8-4 now that you have... Now that you're not hanging on by a thread? Oh, that's sort of... That's basically the plan. Uh, so yeah, uh, today both Gnome and Kaz are here. Hey! Hello. We're here. We're in a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> here multiple times in multiple different ways. Although we could we could we we could be here in one way, but I am fine being here in two ways. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Uh, uh, s- myself in other applications. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we what we are here for is this. It's Modern Masters MM two. X three. So MM six. Yes. So is this sealed? Mm, Modern Masters <coughs> sealed. Hmm. But yeah, we're going to jump into the 8-4. We are going to... Uh, we're going to open sweet cards. And yeah. we're going to draft a coherent deck. And at least I... one of those three things will happen. <laughs> so what does everybody want to do? Uh, somebody said Palaka Worm in the chat, and that is what I want to do. Mm. I want to play Palaka Worm. I kind of want to do Affinity. Hmm... Mm. Blue white artifacts. Ah, uh, picks first. Pick a court homunculus. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that strong in the. You know that. I, I am. I am interested to. Uh, I, I'm interested in two things. I'm interested in being the spiritsman. Are you interested oh, in man. Boggle McGee? Black white thief of hope. Thief of hope. I'm also uh, that's not, that's not the only one though. I am also interested in uh, just playing like the super aggression deck and seeing uh, seeing how that goes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about five color greed. But that's like I don't <laughs> do I need to say that? Like also we're playing dot tree. We're playing dot tree and Wanapo, Tippy Toes and Boggle McGee. Boggle McGee. I don't know what deck that guy wants to draft, but I don't know how many cards are in. Is Daybreak Coronet the only Boggles card in Modern Masters 2? Yeah, basically, it's the one. Uh... Yeah. I mean, we have, what, Goblin War Paint and that. Well, I'm trying to think of the hexproof creatures to go along with it. Like, uh, what is that card? All right. The, the Ledge Walker. So. There's, there's no Solana Ledge Walker. So, our rare is Blink Moth Nexus. That's a fine card. Aww. Yeah. On top of that, um, power cards in here, I would say Cytoplast Rootkin, Mr. I Was a Rare, and a pretty damn good one at that. <laughs> <laughs> at Uncommon. 4-mana 4 4 Yeah. That... 4 on a 4 4 with abilities. Uh, Demer Guildmage says draw a card on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Nexus attacks for one, and that's that's pretty sweet. Um, oh. I'm thinking like, it in the side the, rootkin, the Rootkin's ability is to shove its counters around, right? Yeah, it has graft, and also when it comes into play, everything one one, one counter gets a one one counter, and it can move them around. I'm picking the Nexus specifically on the back of I don't have to uh, worry about a color yet. Ah, uh, but the Rootkin would let us pick Thrumming Bird. Hmm. Well, um, I could pick up things like... Oh, you did want to be Affinity, right, Kat? Yeah! <laughs> How's that for a 4 mana 4-4? Four four, four. Four. Yeah, yeah! That is a 4 mana 4-4. <laughs> but there's four, a Corny four. Monkey list right here! Oh, Who we want that one mana 1-1. To... <laughs> Tabling! Mirror Smith. Hey, there's Root Servitor, too. That guy is reasonable. Also, like, Skyhunter Skirmisher is, like, I like this card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry. Suit him up. Somber Hover Guard? Yeah. yeah. This whole so pack. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll get something for the Affinity deck in 
this pack. Mm-hmm. Mm. The biggest Maybe The biggest trick is that Indomitable Archangel. Uh, if I'm not the Affinity Plan, this is still a four mana four four flyer. Yeah. Also, that shroud could be a little awkward. Well, I could turn it on and off by doing Blink Moth Nexus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Merce Smith's pretty good, but we're not picking that over the four mana four four. Hmm. Right. So, Crusher. Or Cathodian. All right, so looking at options we have here, Sunlance is a piece of removal, Cathodian is a 3-3, Mortar Pod is, like, a plausible choice. Mortar Pod is really for the black-green deck. Yeah. there's a lot of tokens and sacrifice things in that. There's Ulamox Crusher. I'm actually not pulled towards that Ulamox Crusher at all. Like, it doesn't. it's not doing anything for me right now. I, I, I'm just making a face. Uh... Probably Cathodian, then? Or Sunlance? I, I like removal. Is Cathodian... Like, how good is 3-3, three, three, like, for 3? Like, is that... It, it's pretty good. Trained Armadon... Mm -hmm. Arm Trained yeah. Armadon is fine. It matches up well against a lot of the monsters. Yeah. And, I so. think I think these are the two, and I want the removal a little That's more... That's fine. ...than the guy. I like, I like Sunlance. Hmm. I like Strafe. Yeah. All right. So, hmm. Well, we have Tajnar Swordsmith, which is not doing anything for us. Not a lot, like on the white or affinity plans. We have something like Burst Lightning. Yeah, Burst Lightning is cool. Like if we for like thirsty. Oh man, so red white metal. Yeah, yo, is, is Shrapnel Blast in here? Takes me back. I don't think it is. I don't. Yeah. I don't is you can just pick you can play lightning bolt instead maybe if you open it <laughs> uh if we were thirsty the sickle slicer would be okay but burst lightning yeah burst lightning gust skimmer yeah 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 gust skimmer isn't bad if you're blue but we don't know if we're blue or not right well i think we've only seen like outside of pack one like only steady progresses progress <laughs> yeah Well, hmm. got raise the alarm, fortify, flare husk. And to it, things that are kind of lame. Uh, and I think the raise the alarm purge. is the most reasonable out of those. Yeah, out of all the cards that are there, like what even off color, like okay, Tuka Tongue Thalid, which is you know, <laughs> flare and husk, again, black green sacrifice tokens. Right. Your one. How much do you like your one mana one one? Maybe just the 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 husk. Is that is that worth it? Husk is a piece of metal. It is one one, one, one. an equipment. An equipment. You know what? I'm gonna say no to flare husk just because he doesn't turn on the um. Hikari. <laughs> Can we just keep getting four four flyers? <sighs> Although Glen Hall Idol is also cool if uh. We're in a metal craft. When we cast an arcane spell, a eh? Or a spirit. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like, really, you want that with Thief of Hope, but... God. <laughs> the, the rock chucking goblin guy. Which one? Bloodshot Trainee. Ah, okay. Because Flare Husk does not turn on Bloodshot Trainee, I don't want it. Uh, I'm... So I'm... This is really the decision right here, isn't it? Air I'm, Elemental yeah, I'm, versus. I'm Glint picking Hawk the idol. Hawk. I want to. I wanted to prove that Glint Hawk idol was real the last time that we did this, and I still want to prove that Glint Hawk idol is real because I believe so, in Glint Hawk idol. Incandescent Soulstoke is here for some reason. Okay. I don't mean he's a late pick. I mean he is a baffling include in Modern Masters. That's most cards I find. So we have Cathodian, and we can ignore the burst lightning we picked and look at narcolepsy. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that narcolepsy isn't actually all that good at removing. Hmm. I think we learned that the last time. We're, we're gonna what like narc their thief of hope. I'm a, I'm gonna pick the decent creature. Yeah, trained Armadon. 
Yo, okay, so like... Blood Ogre and Skarg and Firebird are good. Blood like, Ogre in, a re in an aggressive deck? Are we an aggressive deck? We have Glint Hawk like, Idol. We'll, we'll become aggressive. I, Raise the alarm tokens, can deal a damage. Our Ooh. curve ends at four, so I argue, yes, we are an aggressive deck. Um, mm, true enough. We'll just have also, all we can, we creatures have our... who are exactly as large as their cost. All one mana one ones, two mana two twos, three mana three threes, and four mana four, four fours. fours. Wow, that, that, that's pretty good. Um, wow, fairy mechanist still hanging out here. Uh, that's that's because yeah, we have to be that. Mid. Is yeah, that we is... Have... Mm, is that better than like mighty leap, otherworldly journey, or repeat? Goblin war paint. Oh <laughs> no! You want turbo aggression? You got a goblin war paint. No. <laughs> I want. I want to speculatively pick the the fairy mechanist in case like blue opens to, and we get the full affinity. <gasps> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that Kru made it around. That's a little weird. Yeah. So we have a court homunculi. I think the, the <laughs> other players seem to want us to be in white, yeah. which is also, good. Okay, so, so if, if, we pick, if we would have picked the Goblin War paint, we could have made this, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then they, and Take then they, six. They cast Lightning Bolt on it, and it, it dies. Hey. I'm convinced they didn't actually print Lightning Bolt. I haven't seen one. <laughs> well, it's like... Odeon no, it's... coming around is a good sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Lightning Bolt exists in the same existence that uh, Twin Bolt lives in. You just never see it. It's never there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I... we've had Twin Bolt plenty of times. We have never played Twin Bolt. I, I, we I have, have played Twin Bolt. Um, I, I refuse. Well. Wait, what does Todd Janaris Swordsmith do? Tutor for equipment. Well, for X. You may on top pay of the X. Yeah. yeah. No Stone Forge is he. I'm I'm willing to not pick that even for like a piker. It is e like the even worst. when there's, even when there's an equipment right here. Don't want counter spell. You don't want counter spell. spell. Let's pick the flare husk, and yeah. also not play it because it's kind of puny. Yeah, like maybe if. Uh, all right, blades or wings. Choose. <laughs> <laughs> And they put these cards in here because people forgot that Lorwyn was a format. Well, yeah. I find these hilarious because these days, like, Wizards wants to pretend that Tribal didn't exist, you know? They yeah. really, right. really want you to know that Tribal was never a mechanic and you're a liar for even trying to tell people that it was. So I'm looking immediately at an O-ring. Yeah, I mean, like... That's probably the best. Ant Queen is a really powerful card. Air Servant is unblockable and kind of mm. mighty. If we get enough artifacts, things like Rusted Relic could be pretty cool. Yeah, no one is picking that, and we're going to yeah, get that, it on the wheel. That, that wheel, and it'll come back, and then we'll, like, waffle over it and skirm, uh, Sky Hunter Skirmisher. I don't think that'll yeah. be much of a waffle. The waffle? The waffle. Waffle. Mm. The waffle. Uh, I I don't care enough to pick the remand for like value like the O ring's ah, really re good. Re values re values gonna have to be pretty high for me to want to like value here. Yeah, but remand re remand is not like super great in terms of value money, but Thwaffle. it's okay. Yeah, there's a monolith here. I don't think we're monolith. Hell, the foil monolith is probably more valuable. Than the <laughs> yeah, that's foil. Look at that. Um, well, if we want removal, we can continue Ooh. on the three mana pieces of removal. There's also Shrewd Hatchling! <laughs> what does Shrewd Hatchling do again? I forget. Yeah. I just remember it shrinks when you cast red or blue spells. Opposite. Like, well, it, it grows. It starts off shrunk and then breaks its chains. Mm hmm. Absolutely, you pick the Goyf. Always pick the Goyf. Oh. Yeah, if we fight, if we pick Goyf, we're picking it because that card is expensive. So we have, <laughs> it's Kami of Ancient Law, who were that? Uh, I would pick a $200 Elvish Warrior, wouldn't you? 
don't know, tribal flames would be like two damage. 